Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Welcome to a very special Coral Blake Grotto broadcast. I had to get a little bit creative uh, with this in how I do this reaction video because of the attempt at filing a copyright strike on me from the Russell J. Gould sector of YouTube. Meaning, I did a reaction video on his uh, Piercing Dynasty video and his um, handler, or I, I'm sorry, I mean his uh, benefactor, his part, whatever it is, she is, Rachel Prince, filed a fiction YouTube copyright strike against my channel. Well, they tried to. Uh, there is no copyright strike on my channel at this juncture in the now space, so they failed. So they have no power to do anything using correct sentence structure because, well, quite frankly, I don't think they know how to use it. So they tried to go through the fiction to strike at me, and they failed at that as well. But I do have to be inventive in how I do reaction videos from now on where they are concerned. Because I'll, I know they'll do whatever they can to try and uh, whatever stop me from showing society exactly what's going on with these people and what they're doing. Not that I have a mission to do that, which I don't. My concern is the grammar, all right? And to show people the pitfalls, the landmines to avoid. Or, you know, if it's, it's their choice. They can't say that they weren't warned. And on a side note, there are hundreds of thousands of reaction videos on YouTube. It's a very popular form of video. People will take someone's content and react to it. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, no copyright strikes are filed. Even with big name music artists and record companies do not file copyright strikes to people reacting to their videos. Why is that? Because they could care less. On the other hand, Russell J. Gould and Rachel Prince, they cared enough to try and get a copyright strike on my channel, and they failed. Well, I thank them for caring. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Winifred Adams, and I am the show host for Making Life Brighter here on YouTube and on Voice America's Variety Channel for Making Life Brighter. I have recently shared with you a never-before-seen outtake, actually the very first inter interview I ever did with Commander-in-Chief Bull Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould. Whose Commander-in-Chief is that? What, was he elected? Did you vote for him? Or is he just assuming that everybody must comply with him claiming that title? That's some hilarious stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I, I got to say, you can, com you can claim you're commander-in-chief of the galaxy if you want to. But if you can't perform on that, it doesn't mean anything. 
And in that, I was giving you closure about the timing, but also his extensive closure, which means information or actually his extensive closure means information information is no form of a contract <laughs> okay his sharing about his system and what he had done in the world why he had done it how he had done it it is in in most importantly why because everyone's so caught up in the movement today of Trump versus Biden and the red versus the blue and what's going on. But it comes down to shipping wars, shipping lanes and gold. Well, I mean, if that's what it comes down to for you, Winifred, if you want to be involved in shipping wars or if you're a warrior, well, then war is what you're going to get. See, that that's what people I think the psychological condition of state that most people miss is that. If it is not your volition to be a party to war, then that takes you outside of that paradigm. Now you're navigating alongside the war machine over here out of harm's way because you have no volition to be involved in war. But if you want to be involved in shipping wars, well then by all means, sign up with RJG and the crew and uh, you'll get all the war and chaos that you could ever hope for and more he's given you the tools he's given you everything technically that you would need that is not correct and that is certainly not true i will however give colin russell hyphen j colin gould his due which i have never withheld from him or towards him in that i have learned so much about shipping and banking and flag mechanics and navigating in and out of foreign vessels and dry dock and things like that from Cola Russell Hyper J. Cola Gould's videos prior to 2016. The few videos that are out there of him talking about postal mechanics and things like that, I mean, those are a treasure trove of data, and I am I have much gratitude to the man for sharing those things. Um he put out some very, very interesting and useful data. But as far as the grammar goes, there just isn't anything out there that he has shared that is consistent with correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar, mechanics. I can look at any of his paperwork and I can mark up errors all over it, multitudes of errors. And I've already done that in other videos. I mean, multiple videos I've done showing this. His own followers say, correctness doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is that Russell is right. Okay? If that's how you want to navigate, if you want to be involved in an authoritarian construct, that's completely on you. I choose not to do that. Okay? But I'm going to give him his due. He did. Sh I did learn a lot of things about that and also about rule one, rule equal. The true meaning of rule one, rule equal, which although... He has mentioned it in his own life, in his own construct. He doesn't really participate with it. Because anyone that calls themselves Commander-in-Chief or Postmaster General or Mustard Master, whatever titles that they use, when you're given a title like that and you talk about chain of command, you have unleveled the playing field. You are now placing yourself above people. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is a violation of rule one, rule equal. The very thing that he claims to participate with, he doesn't by virtue of those titles that he claims or, or tries to push on people. But people are very, very vested in a fraudulent system that continues to this day. And in operating in the belief of that fraudulent system, we might say it's the easier road to take because that easier road <laughs> doesn't have you necessarily needing to do all the steps and the mechanics that it does if you actually become a live life claimant and a postmaster. I am not here to sell postmasterships to you. I'm here to give you closure about the research I've done since 2017, technically, when this began for me. 
It's interesting that she says that she started researching this in 2017. I myself came upon correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar in the summer of 2017. And by February of 2018, I was teaching it and uh, attained closure on the grammar and have been using it ever since for five plus years with 100% success with only myself as the authority navigating autonomously, being a steward of my contracts. And yet, I look at the descriptions of Winifred's videos and the things she writes, and she has zero closure on correct sentence structure. And she started allegedly the same time I did. Just saying. Russell, I'm going to continue to address you as Russell, though we know you're commander-in-chief of your corporation and quantum now time world can i say that now space time is no longer so it's just we're just in a space comprehension of where you are in that space is what, what, what it's all about and actually the word now is non-tangible contract so in my correct sentence structure contracts i don't use the word now space i use the word continuum i don't know if the, where the now space began or if it ends, I just know that it continues. So I use the word continuum and I don't use the no contract word now. But of course, with the balance of the honor and the grace, I understand a lot of people have a vested emotional uh, interest in that word now space. So I don't, you know, call anybody out on it except for right now. <laughs> I'm just bringing that to your attention, dear viewer. That if you do your own research, you do your own studying, and you find out what is tangible and non-tangible, uh, you're pretty much going to stick to tangible contract words for your facts. It's understanding the present, literally where you are. Yeah, yeah, comprehension. Yeah, the word that you want to use there is comprehension. Why would you want to use the word comprehension? C-O-M means together. P-R-E is a particle of negation, as in present. Preview, right? Comprehend is a no contract word. One zero zeroes out the whole multiplication problem. So comprehend has PRE and it's a particle of negation, but yet this guy, who claims to be some sort of authority over correct sentence structure, uses a no contract word and he's telling other people to use it as well. We comprehend coming from knowledge oh and by the if you're going to present a problem you must also present a solution for rule one rule equal the positive performance word that i use instead of comprehend or understand or whatever it is i use cognize to cognize something cognition basing it on closure bringing it through memory and knowledge to create a volition of performance the preposition set fact is the prepositional phrase. The facts don't change, so all we can look at is the condition of mind, why this was set up. Why is he using words like preposition? I mean, I know that this is a knowledge cultivation docket where you do use plain English words, but you would think that by now that someone like him would use positionalodial fact phrase instead of preposition preposition phrase I just I just don't get it and it's the thinking that takes place within the construct and when you have positive thinking you create positive performances and so what I have said if you have positive thinking you create positive performances is that the type of positive performance that you created when you wrote that trashy bitch document that full colon trashy hyphen bitch document was that positive performance just asking for a friend up and tendered to the world is a chance to self-govern yourself but there's a lot of accountability that takes place within the mechanics of that so you have to be righteous with yourself and righteous with others to use my system in other words do as he says not as he does well, isn't that what we're hoping for? Everyone has the choice of the autonomy, to be autonomous and self self govern themselves if they know how to navigate their contracts in a, in a construct. Yes. That
He's speaking facts here. He's speaking the truth. What he's saying is true. But with him, he goes a step further and says, you can be free. You can be autonomous. But you need my permission to do it. You can be free. You can walk around and be autonomous. You just need to bow down and kiss the ring. Bend the knee. Then you can be free. That is, uh, others can join with, commune with. And, and hopefully is for the fellow man and has the heart of one in it instead of me and I and I and I. Oh, we are one. How does I work in your grammar syntax? Well, I can be used as an article. I can be used as a fact. So I can say for I am of I am and now here I will use am as a verb am with I am by how's he going to use am as a verb when there's only one verb in correct sentence structure which is is and the plural form of is which is are am is not a verb so he must be talking about fiction because in fiction am can be a verb I am adverb verb I in the fiction is known as a pronoun in the fiction. I would not be used as a fact in correct sentence structure because it is an intangible contract. Now, if you know what it is you're doing and you have closure on the grammar and you feel some need to use the letter I as a fact in your construct, you are more than welcome to do so if you have that closure. If you came to me in a contract and uh, you were using correct sentence structure and you said, uh, for this claim, it's not to the facts, is with this claim of the term, comma, space, I, with the oity of the function, with the position of the claimant, with this conveyance by this claimant, you pretty much just told me you're positioning yourself, you are the claimant, as the letter I, and in your contract, you're using I to represent you or whatever, however you want to say that. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you about it, if that's your volition, if you want to use that, that word. But that's not what he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen. He's literally talking about using a non-tangible contract word as a correct sentence structure fact, which can't be used, or would not be used, I would say. If you would use it, I would sick it, number one. Number two, am would not be a verb in correct sentence structure. I am. But I could say, for the I of the I is with the I by the I. <laughs> what about for the we of the we are with the we of the we with the we of the we with the we by the we? How about that? I've used I in four different contexts. The first context being the cause, the first prepositional phrase, or the Position I. lodial phrase. The second prepositional phrase is the concern. The, and the third prepositional phrase Possessive. is the possession. And authority. the last prepositional phrase with the I is the authority. And so when you take this and put it all together, you're moving into an entirely new way of speaking. And when you speak and you say your name, as you, you have said it with the colons and the hyphens and all that, do you expect the world to do that? Do you expect the world would speak in that manner? Well, for oral conversation, two plus two doesn't equal four because T-O plus T-O doesn't equal F-O-R. T-W-O plus T-O-O -O doesn't equal F-O-R-E. Point being, as it is written on contract, now at that point, the world has to give closure to who they are. If they don't use punctuation, then they become adjective pronouns. Now I can spin that adjective in any subjective interpret uh, translation that I choose to. So well, then, of course, Russell, that would be your volition. If it's your volition to spin what someone's saying in plain English, then that sounds like malicious modification to me. Because if I'm speaking with you and I say, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and instead of saying, yeah, you know, that's right. If I have uh, 
two books and I add two more books, then I, I'll have four books. Instead of saying that, you will say, well, T-O plus T-O-O equals F-O-R-E. You are purposely trying to muddy the waters. You are purposely trying to play mind games and word games. And if that's your volition, Russell, then I can see why you would then want to force correct sentence structure on somebody, which, again, force negates contract. Because, ladies and gentlemen, as Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller once said, everything is contract. If I can look you in the eye, shake your hand, nod to you, we've just made a contract. We just have to keep up our ends of the contract. We don't need to write it down. But, unfortunately, not everybody has honorable and graceful volition, such as this man who just admitted that he can take your plain, simple English and spin it into a scenario of modification to trip you up, to take advantage of you, to rip you off, maybe. I don't know what his volition is behind wanting to spin the plain, simple English that someone's saying. So, you know, that's, that's telling them, that's, that speaks volumes about this man's mental condition of state. If someone, Winford, comes to me and says, hey, my name is John Doe. Oh, great. John Doe, uh, I'm going to place a value on John and I'm going to claim it as a car. No, I'm going to change my mind a second later and I'm going to claim it as a fence. <laughs> and so I'm going to create subjective closure in an adjective opinion scenario so he is saying he is literally saying that if you try to communicate with him using plain simple english he's just going to turn it around and play word games on you and and try and mess with you with this stuff rather than just taking things at face value with the balance of honor and grace position of peace neutrality maintenance of rule one rule equal he's going to unlevel the level playing field and uh, try and spin it. Amazing stuff. You, folks, you can't make this up. All right? This is this man talking. Are you hearing what he's saying? So that I don't want to, and all I'm going to prove to myself is I don't want to enter into contract with this person. Because they can't identify themselves as a fact. So if they're going to be a, not going to be a fact and don't want to use fun punctuation, I am way cool with that because then they become non-facts, non-facts, non-factors. So if we, they want to become non-factors in the, in the now space, hey, I'm down with that. Then there's no argument. There's actually well, there's nobody there to argue with. Right. <laughs> I think I've heard enough, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I was going to go on and do the whole video, but no thank you. This guy has said just enough to show me what his volition actually is. All right? I don't navigate along those same lines. I contract every single day using plain, simple English with cashiers, uh, with people up and down the street, wherever it is. I don't expect them to know correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. I mean, does Russell go down to the store and uh, if the cashier doesn't know correct sentence structure they aren't a live life claimant he doesn't go he doesn't <laughs> go buy his milk duds there i mean he goes somewhere else where there's a correct sentence structure store get out of here with that bs i mean seriously this is just getting ridiculous now um i hope i've made my point clear and uh, i hope through the use of humor but also through the use of dead serious logic, this guy just confessed on here that it is his volition to spin your grammar if you're using plain, simple English. So if you aren't educated enough to know how to use correct sentence structure or his version of quantum gobbledygook, he's not going to contract with you. You're a non-factor and he's going to take your words and take advantage of you and spin them. He said it. Not me. I'm just commenting on it. And I'm bringing it to you, showing you, yet again, what a huge landmine that that domain is, where he exists. But of course, 
If you want to participate with that type of chaos, that's your decision. Because that's the beauty of contract, ladies and gentlemen. It's by consent. And if you consent to him being your leader, your chief, your commander, your commandant, it's on you, bro. Thank you. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.